In order to put your infinite socket brim back on, you're going to want to find your ischial seat base channel, and you're going to want to line that up with your ischial strut. The easiest way to do this is you've got these four struts, and you're going to want to slowly start to work the brim on one at a time, one strut at a time. Okay, so each of these struts requires a little bit of finesse to get it on there. Just take, take a little bit of time and get them sort of fed on. Then you can start to drop it into place. And once you have it in place, two things need to happen. One is you're going to need to realign this rivet on your anterior lateral strut. Okay, and once it's in place, we've locked that position. And I just move that strut sleeve up and out of the way. And then number two, we're going to bring in our ischial seat. So we're going to slowly drop it down on top of our ischial strut taking note to where we want our height and our relationship between the ischial seat and our brim, and then bring in our ischial seat base. And you'll notice that there is one little tiny point. The rule is that that wants to go up towards the patient. Okay, and we're gonna drop this down and get it threaded. And as we thread in, we're locking down the relationship between the brim and the ischial seat with respect to the struts. Okay, now it's set up nice and solid and your brim's back together.